have been his warrior priest ever since he saved my life. Conjure. You hear? Can we go hurt people now? Radio guys, well we are back on the Marvel series and Moon Knight is what we're looking at today to give a spacing score and some already quite nice tidy animations. Interesting effect there, looks like a lot of little ants. <laughs> Interesting colouring of the table. All right, and the music is uh, kicking in, guys. I think we better start this and see how she plays. I have no interest in hiding. I wear white so they see me coming. Something on your mind, Crawley? Finally, guys. So much better at this. Oh, hey, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Rude. Beware. Finally, guys, the physics on this is good. I feel like I've got a, a pinball. I'm playing a pinball table. We've had so many in a row with the old, not, not, not the old Marvel physics, because the old Zen Mar Marvel physics and FX2 and, and the FX3 non-Williams tables was way too light, right? So some of them have been approved a little from there, but there's still, a lot of them are wonky. This is nice. This is, um, this is what Zen's gotta, gotta do. They gotta look at tables like this and go, what did we do here with the ball? And all the surfaces and, Let's see how the ball's moving with a nice slowness to it, but you can still get it moving quickly. It stops, it stops dead faster. That's part of the key, right? Get the moon bike, Duchamp. But that's making a big difference to this table already. In terms of my enjoyment and challenge factor. quite a nice and, and I love that the fact that it gave it a, a good it's kick up there it couldn't quite so make it up that ramp that's what you want guys that's what you want it's <laughs> not your lucky day pumps okay press flip us to aim shoot launch okay all oh, right, this is another. This is going to be another one of these difficult ones in cab mode, but it's cool. I do like it. That's actually that's actually cool. But yeah, not sure what they can do about that with cabinet mode. We had a a mode previously that was like that, wasn't it? In the Star Wars, I think it was. Was it Star Wars? One of the Star Wars tables. Um, and we could have an auto fire uh, Starfighter Assault wasn't it I think and and you have auto fire we can't oh you could have auto fire there I guess and just move left and right takes a little bit away from it though right because you're sort of moving it and shooting that extra thing but anyway something for them to think about because it is pretty hard to do that on a cabinet in a way maybe if I had a, a center button like a stern table then you could sort of go left and then smack the middle of the table actually that might work that might work better harder because you've got more distance to travel but uh, anyway that's something uh, I might need to think about I need to add a middle button on my lockdown bar guys This is, this ball is so nice. Zen, I hope you're watching this because you've got to realize that it makes 
makes the enjoyment of the game so much better when the physics are this good. Um, go buy lunch or a beer for the person who did the physics on this table. <laughs> they deserve it. The only thing I'm finding difficult is, is the lighting on the table is pretty flat and so and everything's quite busy. So even though you've got the lit things going on. You'd be so much better at this. Go, hey, let me go, let me go! Yeah, that's uh, probably gonna get a little old that so animation. The fun stuff. But yeah, it's a little hard to find where, where I'm supposed to go. I mean it's lit up, right? But at the moment that mission if I can get up there. That's where you're shooting. <laughs> wow that's heavy. So so nice. Bushman is back. Oh okay. Midnight. Can't you? What time is it? Dude. It's time to get serious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that call out. Wow, that's way too loud, that radio call out. Way too loud. Seriously liking the fact I can't get up there easy. <laughs> oh, and an opportunity missed with that moon, right? With that moonlight. The whole table should have darkened off. Okay, Black Spectra. You're back from war. You'll get some more. Our last encounter was rigged. I demand a recap now. No. Hey, surely we can talk it over. Gotta get the all these my reward. flashing you, ones. You can stand in my way. Carson knows has an interesting method of getting ahead in politics. He just kills the opposition as the Black Spectre. Probably just a little bit too much narration going on there. And pinboard needs to be short and sweet and not too repetitive. Can smack back when it wants to. Only myself. You ask how I can live like this. Okay. I ask how I can live any other way. Whoo! Alrighty. Let's give this a spacey score. And I felt like I didn't last that long. Um, and Part of that was just the again the added challenge with the with the physics guy. So yeah, so 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 let's give this a spacey score. I'll give it a rank, and we'll start off with a theme and uh, really good theme. I like this Moon Knight theme uh, in terms of it how it's been now portrayed into a pinball table. Um, seems to have you know all the elements come together pretty well again the music's a little bit one-dimensional which is a shame but lots of character animations and stuff if they're a little bit repetitive is uh 
another story, but the theme is good, translates well into a pinball table. Actually, I'm going to give it pretty high actually because it's, it's actually pretty cool. It's got that little bit of a white wow factor. It looks awesome. I'm giving it a nine, I'm giving it a nine on, on the theme. Atmosphere, a little flat. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of narr no narration going on there, so but it doesn't really sort of tie you in to it too much. If anything, it, it seemed a little bit too much going on um, with the the narration and stuff, and it just sort of didn't make me really feel like I was getting in there. But it's still not bad. We'll give the atmosphere probably a seven. Layout. All right, this layout of this table was nice. Again, I think it's helped by the physics, um, but the layout's nice. Feels like a pin. It looks, it feels like a solid pin actually. This is another good, good, good table, guys, where it feels like you can come back to this because you're playing pinball. That's what, what it's about. So I'm going to give this a layout, even though it's not overly complex, because that's not necessarily the only thing. Um, it's well done. I'm going to give it a nine. Table artwork, um, right, well this is interesting because it's actually got like a lot of white, black and white in here which is done really nicely, I really do like it. It's let down with the lighting though, so it actually ends up being looking really quite flat. But let's just look at the actual art itself and it's, it's, it's nicely done, it's nicely done and even with all this lack of color because of the moonlight, right? But it just looks really, really good. So yeah, I think again, if this was a real table, I'd like it, I'd give it an eight. Um, the animations, well, there's plenty of animations, so it does get some, some score up for that. There's lots going on, and even with that movement in the corner there. You might get sick of a few of those animations, but it shouldn't take it away from the fact that there are good animations. Interestingly, this one, and I know we've said it before in cabinet mode, we don't want the camera moving around and stuff, but Funnily enough, if you had the option and you were able to go, yeah, I want to see certain animations that don't impact the gameplay, then, you know, that'd be a good option to turn on and you zoom in and see those animations up close because you do lose them um, on a cabinet mode setting. So anyway, I think that they're, they're, they're good. There's a lot of effort gone into them. Uh, from the animations themselves, I'm going to give them an eight. The graphical effects, um, not huge. There didn't, nothing there really blew me away in terms of actual effects on top of all of that. So I'm going to give it a 5. Lighting, as I said, unfortunately the table is let down by the lighting. It's just too flat, guys. It's, um, it's just, blah, it's just flat. And unfortunately, because the artwork is pretty busy, there's no distinction there um, in a cabinet mode. I bet you this looks really good, though, in, in a desktop view when you've got that 3D perspective. So lighting uh, not good on this table, bit of a shame. I'm going to put it down. I think really they could have jacked it up. So I'm going to, well, it might be saved by that little glowing lamp there from a five. I'm going to give it a six. <laughs> okay, DMD uh, again, 90s DMD. Nothing special going on there. Um, it was okay. Look, it's it's a six for me. There was nothing amazing there. Music a little flat. Not bad though, actually. If anything, it's sort of um, sort of sat there in the background. As I said, I've got my music down a little bit, so that may have helped. But it's not really going anywhere, guys. I'm going to give it a seven. That might be a little generous, but I'm going to give it a seven. Sound effects, sound effects were good. Nice boom, punchy sound releasing that ball initially. Um, hmm. But again, nothing amazing. So I think sound sound effects there about on the six. The call outs, uh, again, a bit of over narration and oh, I think we heard enough on those. I I think they're not terrible. Oh, it gets a six. It gets a six. Just flow on this table, really nice. Plays like a pinball machine. Um, so funnily enough. This one wins on flow, not because it's just flinging around and flying that way, but all the shots felt really good. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a high nine actually. I really did like the flow, shot interest. Um, look, to be honest, I, I found it a little bit busy and and not sure where I was going next, and didn't really feel like it was running through a, a, a theme there for me. Um, but they're not 
again it's not terrible I think I'm gonna give it a seven there was decent enough shots and feel like I'm you know shooting around again the layout of the table is really good so that helps um, but yeah I was just a little bit bewildered where I was sort of going next um, challenge was really good um, and I'm gonna keep saying it because it's helped by the physics and uh, but also just you know um, just where I was then placing the ball you know going up those ramps not quite getting there and all that sort of stuff that was all really good stuff but I, I, I think I was getting right into the game and so that's why the challenge was nice and high so I think I'm gonna give the challenge an eight the physics feel again excellent now I don't know if since guys we've been doing a, a number of others and some of them have been older tables of Zen but but quite frankly, when they've been moved into Pinball FX, they should all have similar really good physics. And uh, this has been the first one for a while since we've done a lot of the, the other newer tables. Um, and I'm not sure if this is actually better than those original ones. And I'm going to give it a 9 because I just, <laughs> I just, it felt good. It felt like a pinball should, guys. And it's so important. So, so important. And with these tables being, you know, fantasy tables and so much else so much other really good work has gone into it like don't skimp out on the physics so important so yeah the first uh the first nine out of those physics might have to at the very end go back to some of those first tables and see if they deserve a nine as well but felt good man felt very very good fun factor um not so much on the fun side it was good you know i really enjoyed the challenge more and just playing good game of pinball Fun was factor was a bit lower. Um, obviously, still fun to play, but yeah, no huge smile on my face or anything. I'm going to give it a six. Replayability uh, again will definitely come back. It's got the good physics. I'm coming back. It's a pinball table. I can now play it like a pinball table and really try and you know work it out a little bit more. Wish the lighting was a little bit better too, but yeah, playability replayability is high. Um, kind of come back to this for sure it gets an eight uh and spacey's x factor um ooh. i think the th really bizarre thing actually is this overall look of this table with all these light colors and everything and you know in with the theme it's just tragic that there's not enough contrast between it light and dark and some of this you know some of this artwork coming alive with the table going dark and you know, doing light sweeping the inserts and all that good stuff that we see in pinball tables, guys. Um, so yeah, I, look, it's, it's, it's got, it's definitely got an X factor, like it's a cool table. And I think it's the overall sort of look of, look of it and how it all plays. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a bump and we'll give it an X factor of three. All right, guys, well, that gives us a spacey score for Moon Knight. And uh, yeah, be really interested to see what we landed up here with here, but it seems like it's probably up a little bit and very much helped by the physics, which is uh, what we want to do, guys. We want to play pinball and play it well, right? So, so guys, hope you're enjoying these uh, rankings as we keep going through. Again, keep liking, subscribing, and uh, providing your comments. Um, and thanks for those those guys. I've just a few regulars here that have been putting comments down including people like Womble so thanks man um, appreciate your comments and everyone else uh, so yeah I'll see you in the uh, YouTube comments and we'll see you on the next table um, perhaps if you've got a favorite put it in there that you want to see then I'll bump it up on the list till next time guys ciao for now